Hi, it's Tommy coming at you from beautiful Cape Cod. I am Tommy, aka Nana. I am a Brightline eater and I come on here to um, share uh, my journey, um, things that I do to support my journey, um, ideas that I have. Um, for anyone who is on a weight loss journey, I um, began Brightline Eating at, um, in January of January 31st, um, 2020. And in September of uh, 2021, so um, I've been doing this for 822 days as of today, um, which is May 2nd, 2022. Um, I uh, reached maintenance in September of last year, so um, September of 2021. Um, so uh, my journey uh, to reaching my goal weight and um, starting to do the maintenance dance was more than a year. So um, I just come on here to share some ideas, tips, tricks um, of what I do to support my journey um, to staying in my bright size body and um, the, they're the same kinds of things that I did to get here. Um, so I... Um, in this time, I released a more than 116 pounds. Uh, right now, I'm staying around um, a release of, I started at 249, and I got as low as 233, and um, right now, I'm my goal range is 233 to 142, and I'm at about 140. And I'm comfortable. I went from, you know, size 20, that's as high as I would buy, to um, a size um, 6. And that's what I pretty much am in, a small to a medium um, size 6. Um, so the four bright lines of bright line eating are no sugar, no sweetener of any kind, no non-nutritive sweetener of any kind, no sugar, no flour, no flour of any kind, no almond flour, no coconut flour, no flour. Um, and there's something about the science of uh, not eating these things and what they do to your body as well as your brain. And, um, and we only eat three meals a day. There are exceptions, but you only eat three meals a day. Um, no snacking. And we weigh and measure our, our food. And I use a, um, a, school, a scale. Um, there's a lot of uh, links in my com in my um, description, so I invite you to go to that. Um, and I am uh, 63 years old. I have um, Hashimoto's disease. I have um, osteoporosis, and um, you know just autoimmune um, symptoms. You know, achiness, that kind of thing. So. Um, I, um, I wanted to share, uh, oh, so I live on Cape Cod and I, um, I do bright line eating and, uh, since December of this year, well, no, December of last year, my husband has started to do it as well. And, um, in, uh, since December and he started around Christmas time, he has released, I think 54 pounds so far and is doing well and just looks like a new person. So it's pretty exciting. Um, so I just wanted to kind of, I, first I wanted to share an idea that kind of came to my mind last night. And um, that was that I, uh, you know, sweet potatoes are one of the grains that um, we eat on Bright, Bright Line Eating. And I only have a grain still in the morning. And so, um, Last night, I took my um, trusty crock pot and I, I actually turned it on high and I tossed um, four um, sweet potatoes. I already eaten one of them. So um, while I'm talking to you, I'm actually going to, um, so I just, I, I stuck them in the, in the, um, in the, crock pot last night and um when I woke up in the morning you could smell that the sweet potatoes were all done and and you know they're 
they're kind of steamed. I could have um, slashed them. I didn't. It was the first time I was doing it this way. So I wanted to, um, I wanted to be sure that, uh, that they were going to be, um, um, you know, cooked. So I put it on high and I just threw them in and I was doing this literally at like 10 o'clock at night. So, um, what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of peeling them and I'm going to, uh, I eat four ounces of a uh, sweet potato. So I'm going to put them into um, individual containers. So this is one of the things that I definitely do to um, to support my um, my program is that um, sometimes I you know if I make something like if I make a salad I make a bunch of salad and then I uh, you know make the salad for today. And then I make a salad for a dinner or a lunch and I, um, I uh, put a label on it and I don't seem to have any labels right here right now. I put a little sticky note on it and put it in the refrigerator. Um, people call, call this kind of food factory. So they do like, people will do, uh, Bright Line Eaters will do food factory days. And on those days, they will, um, they will, you know, prepare a bunch of their food in advance so that, you know, like I have a morning where I get up really early and, um, I have to, uh, drive to Boston and, um, and I take my lunch and I try as much as I can to have that lunch prepared the night before and, um, have my breakfast uh, pretty easy so that I can get up and, you know, if I'm having a uh, sweet potato, then, you know, I have maybe the, the, if I'm going to have berries with it, I have the berries pre-measured or, um, you know, I just have it prepped as much as possible so that I, I lessen the amount of time that I have to do to prepare it. So having your food prepared in advance, um, is a good thing to do when you're doing bright line eating. Um, if you're going to have trouble with your willpower, that's a, a good thing to have, you know, to, to, um, well, the first thing is really that I decide, um, what I'm going to eat. Like I finish my dinner. Um, let me, um, I finish my, um, I'll finish my dinner and then I'll take my um, food journal and and this is my food journal and I will um, write out the next day and I will say what I plan to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Of course, changes can happen, but um, so, um, you know, I planned out. So today I had sweet potatoes with an ounce of mixed um, nut butter and um, you know so any kind of nut butter or seed butter that you have should have no no added sugars or oils should just be as 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 pure as possible um, or don't eat it <laughs> um, so I might have uh, nut butter today I had nut butter and then I had um, a couple ounces of yogurt I had um, three ounces of blueberries, three ounces of banana, and um, some cinnamon sprinkled on that, and that was my breakfast. Um, so, um, you know, just planning out your food, and um, in, in Bright Light Eating, we have, we have, uh, we stress community, so um, we'll have buddies, and, um, you know, I'll write out my food, take a picture of it, and text it to my buddy, and say, um, today my day was bright, didn't break my lines, I, you know, ate the plan that I was supposed to, and that tomorrow I commit to, to eat only this, or I commit to, to stay bright tomorrow. Um, so, um, that is definitely one of the, um, things that I do that supports my program that is really important. Um, the other is that, um, unless you're really stuffed or you're not feeling well, that you eat all your food. Um, 
obviously if anybody has history of binging and purging they don't want to eat to feeling stuffed because that's a problem but you need to get out of the mindset of grazing um, this is something I've watched my husband have an issue with um, in that you know he he would eat only some of his breakfast because it just seemed like too much food and then of course he'd be hungry a couple hours later because he has a long period between he goes to work at 6 30 so he's eating his breakfast at like 5 30 and then he doesn't get lunch until noon and so that's a long period of time um, for him to go so <clears throat> we were working on workarounds but He's eventually found that if he eats his entire breakfast, that he can last until lunchtime. So eat all your food um, because you could get hungry or also, um, you know, it helps you get out of the habit of grazing. But that um, also you, um, yeah, you're not going to snack. So, so you need to eat all your food. So that it will take you through and you know for some people the hardest thing to get used to eating is the amount of vegetables because on the weight loss program there is 20 ounces of vegetables I personally now eat uh, 24 ounces of vegetables a day and there are people who eat more than that um, so especially if you're eating raw vegetables or a salad you know it's a pretty big huge salad so um, um, but eating all your food so that you don't get hungry later and that you get out of the habit of grazing is a really important thing as you're beginning um, bright line eating. Prepping ahead as much as possible and deciding what you're going to eat in advance. Those are all things that help you to um, not, you know, decide things in the moment, um, you know, have your your just your willpower from the day um you know undo you and um so those are uh, some helpful tips i hope that you find them helpful um if there's anything that you'd like me to make a video about please uh, put it in the comments like subscribe share it with your friends and i hope you have a wonderful beautiful bright day